we just moved the refrigerator outside. It's a tiny little refrigerator. It's on a stand, which I guess if you think it's going to flood is a good idea. But it's like um, not even up to my shoulder, and it's on a six or eight inch stand. It is currently plugged in and still a refrigerator, but not for long because we have a nice big brand new refrigerator coming, and we're going to clean this out, dry it, and use it as a pantry. And then during fiestas, when we're cooking a lot, we'll plug it in and have a spare refrigerator. But mostly, it's just going to be a pantry. Hopefully it won't stink. I think if we clean it and dry it, it should be okay. We'll find out. That was fun moving it. Because the doors here are these weird skinny ass doors. The front door is three foot. This is only like two and a half. It's a weird size. I don't know why they do different sizes. Front door, back door, bathroom, three different size doors. My next house is going to be three foot doors throughout. I don't care. Because I had to take the door off the refrigerator to move it. But I was very careful. I did not take any of the food out. I did not even remove the eggs. I took the door off, carried it outside like that. Carried the refrigerator like that. Took none of the food out because I'm lazy. But it's here. And the new one's coming. I cannot go back inside because she is mopping. I've lost my place. The floor she is wet but we have a space there for the refrigerator and we've like pulled all the crap out of it the top of it and around it and we'll clean that up when the new refrigerator comes so yeah this shit's kind of crazy man uh, we just bought a refrigerator in the city at 1 o'clock this afternoon it is now 520 they are delivering it already I'm shocked um, I thought it'd be tomorrow, maybe the next day, but no, it's today, they're on their way right now, let's go meet them. So yeah, when we first moved over here, I let her talk me into a very, very small refrigerator. Um, she's like, oh, we'll never need it, we'll never need that much. I didn't realize she had never had a refrigerator before and that shopping every other day was not going to work for me and now since i go out farther to buy meat i buy a month's supply i need to stock up i need a bigger refrigerator i need a bigger freezer so we got one coming it's about time it's going to be nice people are sneaking up behind me who is that oh here comes my refrigerator are y'all going to help carry the refrigerator Here's my refrigerator. Woohoo! You gonna help carry it? Hello! Yeah! That's who we're looking for Imperial Appliance Plaza. You, you gonna stay and supervise the job? What y'all laughing at? Huh? What's up? Uh huh. See, they get shy. Our refrigerator is so big. No, but we'll, we got some bottles that are too big to put in it. Yeah, we have some too big, some tang, some coke. We got everything to put in it. Yeah, too big. That's water, right? Yes. Yeah. See, I know. How long do you stay here, sir? I've six been years. here six years. Oh, yeah. And then you will go back to America? Nope. No. Nope. Ah, you stay here? Stay here all the time. Sometimes when you miss your place, go there? No, nothing. Not really. Uh, I've been very nice. I've been back two times oh. in six years, so no worries. <laughs> Philippines is a great, great place. Hmm? Philippines is a good place. Yeah, I've been enjoying it. I don't know about these guys though. They're causing trouble. <laughs> the only problem with this refrigerator is the price. This thing was almost $600. I've never 
ever paid that much for a refrigerator in my life. Electronics are more expensive here than in the U.S. Such is life. This path really sucks. And as an old air conditioner man, I understand this path really sucks. The plan was to tip them well. But when they got to the door and found out it wouldn't fit through the door, and I suggest to take the door off the refrigerator, they panicked, said it was too complicated, and they left. So since they left it sitting in my front yard, no tip. Too bad, so sad. Shut up, LeJohn. The bamboo doorway is two and a half feet, and Uncle was going to dismantle it to get the refrigerator in, and he panicked when I started taking the doors off the refrigerator. They have no clue. It's so easy. Refrigerator doors are actually reversible. You take them apart, move the hinges to the other side. Easy peasy. I should have taken some video of me having to take this door off to get the refrigerator outside. Didn't really get any. When they built this house, I questioned them about the doors, and I should have really said more about it. Next house, we're getting standard three-foot doors, all doors. They got this weird front doors, three-foot, back doors, like, barely two feet. It's, it's ridiculous. So this tiny little refrigerator wouldn't even fit out the door. Anyway, it's very very small you put in some veggies and a little bit of meat and the freezer is full so we're going to be moving into the new refrigerator today Yay! this refrigerator is way bigger than the other i do not know the cubic footage of either but this one's much bigger you'll see the food looks completely different here than in that one um, there's an extra shelf and an extra piece of glass, which was nice, but now we got to store it. The shelf went here and it made for a very weird narrow spot, so we had to take it out so tall things could fit, like peanut butter and Coke. The little movable shelf's kind of cool. Um, I had to open it to have room for a two liter Coke. That's one thing that this has no space for, is... A bottle of coke I suppose I could lay it down but I actually just don't want to if I take this shelf out the coke will fit here but eh, I figured that I don't need to do that it should fit here but it does not the 1.5 liters fit two liters do not such is life I should just lay it down big produce drawer nice wine rack I think we'll probably make more use of that than we should. A um, little place for the eggs and butter and cheese and what have you. This has got so much more room in it. And I like the freezer being on the bottom because we don't get in the freezer that much. So it doesn't have to be as convenient. It's huge. And this is something she wanted was these drawers. She saw the big open freezers and she wanted these drawers. So all the meat, produce, ice cream, a um, couple extra ice trays. Not sure how much we'll need them. This has an ice storage drawer, and above it is a small ice maker. I was concerned if it would turn the ice out much, because you can't, like, twist them to pop it out. It just has this knob. You turn it, they flip over, the ice comes out. And boy, does it freeze fast this freezer is good you have to pull it out to put water in it because they know there's no drinkable water here so you can't hook up an ice maker so you have to fill it from somewhere there's all my stickers my little refrigerator magnets my daughter put that together for me Melanie collects magnets from where we go and these are just some little silly ones I have from the US um, I don't know. Overall, I'm pretty happy with it. Oh, yeah. And my bar set from Bicycle. Yes, there's a glass missing. I use it to drink out of. Time for a drink. 
and enjoy my new refrigerator. Enjoy your day in paradise. <laughs>